My daughter woke me up screaming, crying, Mom, there's a fire, there's a fire. It was a nightmare scenario for Deanna Kersim and her daughter Carly Saturday morning. We're all pretty much devastated, traumatized. We lost everything. Everything. Everybody was able to get out of this building at the Chapelwood Apartments in Loveland safely, but now Kersim and her neighbor Tanya Quinn say they're basically starting from scratch. I went to work the next day. Um, I, I tried to keep the money coming in, but it's like there's so much to do after something like that happens. I can't, I can't do all of it. Quinn and Kersim are both living at this hotel temporarily and they're not sure where they're going to go next or how they'll afford it. The outreach of the community has been phenomenal, um, but it sucks. It's a hotel. There's no way to cook food. The families are staying here thanks to money from the American Red Cross, but they know they need to find a more permanent solution. They are hoping for more help from the community through these GoFundMe pages, but they're also concerned about the response from management. That upsets me. It's wrong. It's wrong. Kersum says the fire started inside the wall separating her kitchen from Quinn's and Quinn says she called the emergency maintenance line earlier that same morning to report electrical issues after finding her fridge without power. She also filed a request in writing. The report these women showed us from the Loveland Sims Fire Department says the fire started in a kitchen and that an electrical failure was a contributing factor to the start of the fire. I mean, it was ignored. There was a warning sign at 4 a.m. Uh, you know, it should have been looked into. I called the emergency maintenance line and spoke to a representative with Chapelwood Apartments who said the property is being inspected Wednesday, after which they might have more information. In Loveland, Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.